Good morning and welcome to this flight from uh, Göteborg Landvete to Engelholm in uh, this Arabesque Diamond DA42 Twin Star. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna close some stuff. We're gonna close the rear canopy and close the front canopy too. Open this. So we can hear engines. So power on. Let it start up. Checklist. So we'll start with a pre-flight checklist. Uh, pre-flight check completed. Victor Master is on. Fuel selectors are. On. See they're here. They're on. Um, power levers are idle. Parking brake is set. Gear selector is down. Unix master is off. Selector mass off. I can see this. Oh, it's on. And your master is off. And your master is off. Peter heat is off. Alternators are on. ECU swap is auto. These two auto. Uh, all light switches are off. ELT is armed. And flap set is up. Rudder panels adjusted. Trim controls set in normal range. Trim set. Uh, rudder trim is neutral. Rear door closed. Front canopy is closed. And uh, G1000 is powered. Lift the fuel, Let's see. Oh, enough there. Fuel control to check, fuel temperature is checked in green. Start key is inserted. Power levels are, power levers are idle. And strobe is on that's it so we we'll read that okay so ready to start I'll turn position lights on too um so turn the master on here and in the real one you get a certain a message here because it's powering up something. Uh, we don't get that here, so we'll just start it again. And it's rotating. Should, should attract the area clear first. It's good, so we'll set check. Um, Amps, the system here. Amps are good. Pulse is good. It's good. Turn the second on. master on. Wait a bit. It doesn't show up here. So that one. Good, Avionics Master is on. See it here. Gonna connect to Squawk Box. Gonna set up our FMC for the route. So we need a new one. Delete flight plan. Uh, 
Echo Sierra Golf Golf. Now we need to procedure departure. We're running off. I think runway T1. T1 for Topla. So we need to check our charts. Just checking in the charts. Um, Sid. Use your RNAV and it's the top left to Juliet. For two one, so we'll select departure, top left to Juliet. There you go, enter, load. So good. Oh, sorry. That. And top lap will go direct at trip. So alpha. Tango. Romeo. India. Bravo. Sweden, yes, accept. And then we'll have the airport. It'll be Echo, Sierra, Tango Alpha. Hold on, check. So that's our flight plan. Do uh, some flight plan here. So that will be Echo Sierra Golf. Oh, sorry. Golf. Sierra Tango Alpha. After that, we'll do that. We'll do Let's see the sketch route. As we odds, so we'll do 9,000. We'll take us. Six minutes. Do uh, the four ten. Flight time is twenty six. We'll do thirty minutes. We have two hours of fuel. That's top. La. Then the L. Six nine nine six a trip direct. Okay, so send out. I don't think I have any. It's early in the morning, so I doubt we have any. No, what? No one is online. So good. Um, run the next checklist then. Oil pressure is in the green, RPM above 600, good, and fuel selectors, cross feed, pitot heat, on, let's check on on seers. Yes, good. I have to have this at cross speed. Oh, the Vionics Master is on. This one is set up. All the pilots is uh, test. The new one. We turned it on. Sorry. 
and supposedly when you do that you can't move your control stick which you can on this sorry save okay position lines are on fuel selectors are on altimeters are not set let's see altimeters it's 1022 so 1022 A little bit tricky. See, like so. Altimeter set, standby horizon is checked. Transponder. Let's move back. Transponder. Let's see. And um, parking brake is released. one is before takeoff check but that will do that when we get to the runway we need to do a run up so tech lights on oh, two one go left here crappy wind there uh, in Gothenburg we'll be in the clouds pretty fast Taxiway to use, probably the other one. This is probably uh, that's probably that one we have to use, if I remember correctly. Uh, driving kind of wrong. But there's no one here, so take it easy. Bit of a crosswind today. I see winds was at two seven zero, normally two one, so bit of a crosswind. We're going to use the GPS, we'll just set it up the GPS set. We'll use the flight director. Turn that on. No, no. Turn the flight director on. Nav mode and flight change. Oh, we really have to do that. Six. C. I don't remember. 61. Seems so low. Climb speed. Need to go at 100. So flight change is 100. Good. So that's set up. Um, the runway is right. So it's too, too bad about the weather because it's really nice. I mean, one of the good parts of this is the amazing scenery. Explain 11. Which you missed now because you can see that. So the run-up procedure in this is different from ordinary piston aircraft because this has a FIDIC. You see it's our ECU, engine control unit. FIDIC is, well, same, same, but different. So we'll just go here. We'll put it into the wind. Parking brake on. So I'll we'll start with putting these down. She said it RPM stabilize. Right on oh no. stable. Oil temperature is in green, oil pressure is in green. 
Shield Tempest in the green. Shield complex K, cool and tempest. So we'll start with this engine. In real life I think you do it. Both engines. So see that the same on the order A and B. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to go out by itself. I think in the real plane it does that. Doesn't seem to do this here. So let's pull up the engine and we'll go A B. And then back to A. That's it. So we do the checklist. Pocket mate set. Rear door cabin closed. Ultramagnet choke, but this door is closed. You can see it from here. Okay. And engine instruments are checked, fuel temperature is checked, electric trim is set. Let's take off. Rudder trim is acquired, flaps are checked up. Flight controls are not checked. We'll do that now. Power levels are idle. Easy test is performed. Easy swap is performed. Pito heat is off. No, oh, we'll do turn that on actually because of the crappy weather. Uh, ice protection is able to do that on too. Uh, Transponder is mode C, yes, altitude, and parking brake is released, so we're ready for takeoff. Turn the repellents on too. Do an unseat. Uh, traffic, uh, DA 42, taking off runway 21, Popla. Juliet F. F. Okay. So, guess in real life you should wait a bit. I don't think there's any traffic in the pattern. So lights on. We look at here. Let's put it straight first. Just set the set the heading bug. Oh, there it is. So okay, so full power. Is red, gear up, and we'll be in the soup pretty fast. So let's go instrument. Turn these off to blind ourselves. Thousand feet, we'll just follow the flight director. Should have set the altitude before. Weather. No, oh, not getting through it. That's nice. That wasn't too thick of a cloud. And above here we have a beautiful morning. So 
power 92 which is max continuous you can use a full power for five minutes a little hard with my with my throttle set up on the joystick to keep it at 92 Rudder to keep it centered. Like so. so we can do after takeoff checklist. Gear up checked. Flaps are checked up. Landing lights are off. And that's it. So we'll climb up to flight level nine zero. Set the gauge. Like so one zero one three. Standard. Pilot. So autopilot, flight director, altitude is flight change, flight change, 100 knots, and we're following the nav. Okay, your damper is on. And with GPS here, next is CGG706. Okay. Up the range here. Oh, so we have top lower down here. Yeah. So autopilot should a second or so start left turn. Like so slight. It's not a long, long slight left turn. So we can. Turn off our anti eyes because we are above the clouds and we haven't picked up much eyes what I can see. There's a thousand to go. We'll keep the pitot heat on. There's a bug here in X plane, so it doesn't. So, so it sort of dis Sometimes the standby engages. There's a new explain version. No, explain Xbox ber version out. The problem is it doesn't work at all. I think it's a real it's a real problem with it. So nine thousand feet intercepting altitude. We have a autopilot, a flight director, altitude, and a localizer for our GPS nav. We're gonna accelerate a bit, and then we're gonna put it in cruise. So cruise, most economical cruise, I think, is long range cruise is 74. So we're gonna put it around there, 74, 72, it's 72, ah, 74. We'll put it there in the mid 70s. Let's just build, let it build up speed. That's it. Set course 168. Here's the one problem. I can't set the course. I don't know. This is course and bar barometer, but I don't. I can't get the course needle. I mean, the barometer is easy. You can standard uh, set that to standard by pressing it. So, but I can't change the course. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Doing something wrong. Pretty sure this is the same. So it just sets the the barometer. It's weird. It doesn't matter, I can still know what I'm doing on. Here's the thing. It's not something with a plugin. It's called Books plugin. So we can we're not accelerating anymore, we can just set it to seventy 
do 74, 75 and drop it. That's okay. Doing 227, so pretty fast ground speed. We'll set up our VNAV. So we are at, do it like this. We are, oh, sorry. We are at 9,000 feet. Missile, uh, we send, let's see, tw how far before it, like 20, some up 22 miles maybe. Last time I did, did a flight, I uh, got, it started to send 27,000 feet, but that was 10,000. So we'll do 22. I was way earlier on that one. 23 maybe. Three, and we'll have a bit before it goes. So you can you get all the uh, all the waypoints in the flight plan. So we'll do it when it goes and get there. Uh, you can set it on target out if you want to. Um, we'll do that. Thousand feet. So get begin descent in twelve minutes. That's very handy. Uh, I'll be right back. I got to go and hug my son a bit. That was nice. So, um, if look at this. We can take this chance to look at the exterior metal model. I like the fact that there's actually a person flying it. That's always a plus. Here's the front luggage part. This this open and this can't be opens, as you saw in the beginning. Two engine aircraft. Very nice cruise. Go over the speeds. Uh, <coughs> the gear extension speed is can extend the gears at any point. V and E is uh, level XP, speed. The speed is 192. Uh, it can extend the gears up to 192, so that's uh, pretty good. Um, let's check out the uh, alignments. <coughs> um, the flaps are different. A flap. Uh, Approach is, I think, 132. No, it's 111. Oh, I suddenly got a little. It. I should check my. I don't have it on me. Um, mm -hmm. Check the speeds. Just gonna go and look at the speeds. Documents. Mm. Let's see. 
Let's see if it's in here. Let's see if it's in fact sheet. There's some documentation on with it. Let's see, random climb here to take it through. No, there was nothing in it. that one. I'm going to look up the speeds. I'll be right back. So now I have documentation here. Let's see where is the speed. Of the real POH. So pilot's manual. I don't know. That's very cool. Operating limitations. Let's see. Looking, looking, looking for it. Maverick speed speed for VNE is 194. Gear extension speed is also not 194. Gear retraction speed is 156, so you have to get it up before 156. Um, max flaps, uh, approach flap is 137, and landing is 111, so 111, 111 knots. Um, so so gear is pretty much any time, and then approach is 137, and landing is 111. So um, that should be easy to remember. Should have remembered it. What else? Um, minimum control speed is 165 knots. Uh, structural cruising speed, which is... Uh, we are on smooth air here, so not a problem. But if, if it was turbulent, we had to slow down to 155. Best rate of climb is 90 knots. We used 100. That's it. Um, look at the power limitations. Max continuous is 2700 RPM. Uh, takeoff power is full throttle. You can use that for 5 minutes on all engines. Um, if you have two engines, if you only have one engine operated, then there's no limitation on that. Um, but with two engines, it's 5 minutes. So, and then cruise speed, typical cruise speed is 75 knots, 75 percent, which we have now. And um, max continuous power is 92, which is not in the manual, it's from a tutorial. From a, this, is, this is person on YouTube called John T17, J Juliet Alpha Uniform. November Tango Yan Yankee 17. So go look at him, his channel because his most amazing videos of him flying his uh, Diamond TA 42. That's a good suggestion. You know, let's see, five minutes. So very nice. Crappy weather. So we should probably set up our approach. Look at the wind first at Engelholm. They are 280 at 3 knots, so that will be. Uh, Look at the approach. Well, I don't think there's a star. There's a star to run with 2, 3, 2. Let's start to run with 14, 2. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna use that. We could use it to set it up. Up procedure. Click arrival. No, it's not in the system, so that's too bad. No, no, that's not it. Tier four. Is that it? There is arrival. Tele4 Echo, so this one. Tele4 Echo. Let's 
Now that's when we want four. Load. I need to go down here. Um, the cleanup hour. We'll do procedures. I will approach. Alice one four. Vectors. Yeah, sure. We'll clean up our flight plan here. We'll go direct. We'll clear that. We go direct MF. Then we need to clean up some more. Clear that up. Clean that up. Then we we'll approach here. How do I get back to you? This one. So direct MF, I don't know how we go there, we'll go there. Direct MF, like so, yes. Turn. So, now we're turning. And we will start our descent. It's pretty okay to start now, I think. We'll do like 5,000 at MF. Mike Fox dropped. So I will go uh, vertical speed and nose down. Thousand feet. Reduce power level. So we're we'll over speed. So look at our ILS approach plate. Runway 14. So one 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 dot point three is our Nav. Weird, but it doesn't. It's hard to do this. The default one. Uh, is it one 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 dot three? Like so. That set up and now this one. The course is one three three, but I don't know how to set that up. That doesn't work for me for some reason. We need a Q and H, and Q and H for Engelholm is one zero two three. So one zero two three. That's not it. Range here. We can actually go down to our approach, it's kind of high, so we'll go down to 2000 feet, which is uh, slow down a bit, which is our final approach altitude. Okay, so we're coming out, don't over there, we're not going over going over Halanzosa, which is a sort of hit, not a mountain, it's more like a hill. We're not going over that, so no problem. It was still kind of high up anyway, so 2000 feet set, community set. Look at our checklist. So uh, landing data is received, altimeters are set. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fuel selectors are on. Conav FNS is set. Parking brakes checked and checked and released. Okay. Next is before landing. I don't think that's a final check. So, 
let's approach chest. So, so now we're over Hamstar. This is where I am from. Let's see if we can find, see where my parents live. It's a bit hazy. So, this is uh, the river called Nissan. The airport is here. Uh, Skydiving off here. There's a skydiving club there. Um, so, and this is a really nice set of beaches around here. They go on for miles and miles. I grew up. See, I don't think we can see it because it's hazy, but it's sort of over here somewhere. This area, maybe, or maybe up here. That's still hard, hard to see. But over here, anyway. In the outskirts of Halmstad. That's where I grew up. So this approach uh, route takes us a little out to the sea. 5,000 feet, we could probably descend faster. Two thousand is maybe too fast. Fifteen hundred. Oh, wait, wait, fifteen hundred. Sorry, my bad. Landing lights on. Still slow down a bit. We'll descend a little bit faster, actually. Just make sure we're down at two thousand feet. We need to. So the weather is kind of crappy. I think you're supposed to be able to set up a missed approach altitude, but I can't find that. Two minutes. Hundred. So almost in a mist again, we need to put the ice on, the ice in fluid, go, see the engine, so looks good, the temperature is good, fuel is good, we have a lot of fuel, the ice is fuel, it's okay, leave it on engine. Approaching 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet, can H1023, LDR. Traffic, and on traffic. LDA 42, inbound on. What was the name of that? Tealer for Echo. Echo. Oh, sorry. Okay. Need to be down the ramp for push. Oh. I sort of sorry about that. Um, inbound to uh, for echo. I will runway one four. Two min two five no. I know. Slowing down a bit. Need to base it up. Two five no. Done our announcement. I should have, I was a sloppy from me. I should have kept it up speed wise. So, what happened is I went to the other screen and I went back and I was not in the correct squawk box. box, box. So, we're here now we're just covering him, then we're gonna go direct there. The light's not showing that. So, can you remove that maybe? No. I'm go right there. It's not a problem. Uh, I did that sort of wrong. I was going to deselect the approach, but I selected the approach instead. Sorry. Um. But that's okay. So one minute I have, so we can actually go off GPS. We'll just first set it on heading. Heading, synchronize. Go. 
heading. So we'll take it off. Yes. And here's the part where we're gonna need stacks on us. I call stacks. I guess real pilots don't have someone screaming for a crest in the middle of their flight, uh, their approach. Uh, so I would like to turn this thingy here, but I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. So I can't do that. So we'll pretty soon intercept the localizer for 1-4. We'll do final announcement. Crappy weather here too. It's crappy weather everywhere actually. seconds so DB is correct this we're gonna we should have done this before listen to it I can't hear it for some reason Damn it, I forgot select approach. Will you pick it up? I did. So, my bad. Okay, so crap, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Really bad, sorry. Well, I discovered it. I figured it out pretty fast. So, that's so now we need to slow down. Do our announcement. We hold traffic, final runway on four. Down 137 is yes, to approach speed for extending approach flaps. Get down. Why are we turning now? We're turning to. Approach flaps. One eleven is final flaps. Like so good. Final flap set. Put now on the speed. Go to speed. So checklist. Um, flaps are right, set landing gear is. Down three greens and landing checklist to complete. And we are on the case of we'll just push the heading to keep that nice and sorted. So you can't see much because it's crappy weather. But this is this is where the gear downs, the flaps downs. Get this out of the way you can see on. Or zoom in. Oh, 46. So our missed approach altitude is this is uh, category one, so and we are really small, so 1636. Video and 196. 196 is this approach. Um, the decision alt altitude. And our missed approach is 2000, so we'll climb and runway heading to 12,200 feet. Then we'll turn left back to LB. 370 at 5. Which we should have set up somewhere, except I don't have any EDF, so I don't know where to set it up. 500, check. Speed is okay, we'll just slow down a bit, maybe. No runway in sight yet. So 200 feet. Getting close to missed approach. Altitude actually. Hundred feet to go. Please show up. Nope. 
going around. Let's disconnect autopilot. So, 1200 feet. That was crappy. Change will do hundred. Come on, feel left. So we'll divert to Hamster, I guess. The weather there was nicer. Anyway. 1200 feet, turn on left. Altitude. I should have geared up. Forgot about that. Crappy missed approach. What a pilot. Flight change. Oh dear. Synchronize and heading. Okay, so that was crap. We'll go to our alternate. So we'll go direct. We'll just go. So we can go here and look at our near nearest airport. So we'll go there. It was direct there. Let's activate. And we'll go CDI and nav. So, so we'll go direct home stop. Um, so we'll set up a runway 19 approach there at Homestead. If we can find Homestead, there it is. And the plate, plates. I less than only one niner. So one one ten ten. Have I done that one? Ten. Like so that give you news of power. Um, I have to climb a little low now. Two thousand six hundred is the approach for Homestead. We'll set it up. I think that's okay. Likewise, and just like sky vectors. Uh, that's okay. It works out. 
by minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucked. Uh, if you look at the toads shape, approach plates to Homestar, we will go um, with the airport and slide to the right and down to the approach for one line. Right, one line. The same the weather there is. Good. One, zero. Two, three, same Q and H. No wind actually. So that's good. So we're not completely in the clouds, but we're flying through the clouds all the time, so we'll keep the anti ice on. Oh that sucked, I wanted to land it. Hang and hold. I uh, couldn't, so, well, that's the way it is. No airport at minimum, so you go around. Not the best go around either. Well, I know, I know why it wasn't the best. But, um, well, do our best. It's a practice thing, too. We need to practice, so. This is one way of practicing it. Doing it in the simulator. So let's see. There it is. Don't know if we can set up the approach actually. I think we should be able to set up the approach. So LS19. Don't know what LT1 what that stands for. What's one and two? We can try one. T one. We'll load that. Interesting where it will be going. We'll start slowing down a bit. Go around 160. Yeah, this should be interesting. There's no hole we should go. I don't want to go hold. This is the problem. I don't really understand this much. Oh. oh. So now we have to Actually, we can do a visual. I'll do a visual. Maybe I should uh, try less official. Heading. So we'll go up over here. We'll come in over in the sun. Which is the um, which is the river? It doesn't. And there is a, a no-fly zone from the ground up to five thousand, nine thousand feet. Actually, just by, just before, it's a military area. Um, called Neos or something. Neos, also, I think. Um, that's out here in this area. No, out there. That's okay, we're okay with that. We'll reduce speed a little bit more. Slightly high on the speed. 
ていう。So here's the airport. We're gonna come out, do your left turn, and accept localize and then land. And if we oh, move over here, this is the river, and I'm gonna agree up over there somewhere. You follow this road out. You go where I grew up. Still some crappy weather there. We'll keep the anti-icing on. So we don't run into problems when we're gonna land. So we're on a one line. That's an industrial area just close by to it. We're here is so that uh, wrong coast here. That, that's the fancy area where you can live. Where everything costs a fortune. So just keep it to the south, so we keep away from the terrain and away from what we 2600 is okay, out to 25 miles, so we're good, safe on the altitude, and just want to keep away from the restricted area, which is just, just up to localize. I don't think you can see it, but I, I think it's around here, LT. So where's LT? This could be LT. No. Uh, so it's just around here. It's weird you can't set an ADF on this one. I didn't think of an ADF. You need an ADF on some approaches like this one. It's weird they haven't thought about that. Getting a long flight. This was going to be a short flight. It's getting longer. Uh, it looks kind of nice over Amstad, so hopefully this will work. There are some really low clouds here. So. Should be rising soon. The glide slope. I think this is kind of very cool with the low clouds and trees and stuff. Like fog. And the weather is crappy at times, so that's quite correct. Now it's starting to rise. Just let it go one above and then we'll turn to intercept it. Okay, now left turn. It doesn't really. It, everything moves a little bit, so it's not easiest to. So we'll be heading out. Oh god. No, I don't think it's so annoying. You see, 190 plus 300 or 30 is 210, 220. We're good, set that. We'll arm the approach this time. Our approach is arm, localizing that slope. Attempted pretty soon. Now, localizer is on. Oh. 
Good thing we had an ultimate. It's still a pretty good view. It's getting low, but still on the safe side. You can check the engine view. Range 210 nautical miles, so that's okay. No problems. So, intercepting glide slope. Let's start slowing down. Looking for 137 to extend flap, approach flaps 111 to extend landing flaps. This is the outer marker. Outer marker. Check. So our missed approach is climb runway heading to. 1500 feet, then turn right LTLT, climb to 2600 feet, and uh, missed pro um, position height is 231. Oh, sorry, at altitude. Approach missed position altitude is 1, 231. So almost there. We can extend the gears. Approach flaps. for and landing flaps so landing flaps set gears down three greens and then checklist complete It's slightly better here, so we could be able to land without a problem. So I'm currently in the soup, in this one. God, it seems low. Doesn't look very low. Reduce power light slightly. Come on, give us a runway two thirty one. Come on, there you go. Thank you. You was slightly better here. Hannes, where are you there? Take the autopilot. Come da, come so we get better. Get on, flaps down. Super again. I still have the runway lights inside. Don't know, this is probably not correct. Damn it. Oh, come on. So that would probably constitute a missed approach in real life. see anything. <sighs> okay. So we should have gone around there. We just didn't have time to do that. Let's take 
escape room. Should be out here somewhere. Uh, so I should have gone around, but I don't know where I would have gone then. Where's the apron at? It's a long runway, but should be coming up here soon. to April. Here, maybe? Oh, the wind socket at least. Yes, oh darn it. Missed the apron. How can I miss the apron turn off? Just shows how crappy the weather is. Can't even find the taxiway off the off the runway. Where is it? Seriously, A big house. Really wasn't there yet. Sorry, my bad. Let's go over here and taxi off the runway see if I can find my way. The tower must be thinking I'm a complete idiot. Which I sort of am, so that's... Oh, here it is. Okay, so... So here's the apron. This should be building out to the left somewhere. This is really crappy weather. I'm, I have to call my parents and see if this is correct. It is actually is that crappy in real life. Probably is. This is extremely crappy. Okay, we'll just stop here. I have to wait two minutes, but I don't, I don't want to do that. Because I don't have time. Off. So, do you open the canopy? Put everything up. Turn off avionics master, lights off, and easy power off, and hang up the key. So, thank you. This was an eventful flight from Landwetter to Engelholm, but I had to revert to Halmstad and I had to land SO2 approaches, down to minimums, and a crappy landing because I should have gone around, but I don't have time for more flights. Um, so, I did tons of things wrong, but did learned a lot of from this. So get, I'll improve. I'll get better. I think. Too much too to ice too. Sorry. And that one too. So I learned a ton of this. I hope you learned something else and enjoyed it. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share so i am andy and this has been explain 11 with the arabesque da42 twin star take care bye bye